Hey everyone and welcome back to T-Rex Disc Golf. This is Jacob. So a couple months ago I asked the question in the daily question on the Facebook page. Why do you think I chose the name T-Rex Disc Golf? And I got some pretty interesting results. So I got short arms, big head, big head and short arms, or I have short arms and I can't throw far. Um, I hit about 400 so I think I'm okay on the distance uh, without a broken arm. Um, but this is not what I look like. Uh, I do have, I do not have a big head. Um, I have to almost wear junior hats for them to actually fit. Um, and I, I, I do have short arms though. I can't, I can't lie about that. My arms are short, but I'm a stocky guy, so I can, I can get it out there sometimes. But the real reason about why I chose T-Rex Disc Golf is actually a very personal reason to me. On March 15th, 2010, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is a rare type of bone cancer for adolescents. Um, well, it all started when I was playing baseball in high school. I was a second baseman and a pitcher, and uh, my left arm kind of started hurting me a little bit. But I'm right-handed, so I thought that was kind of weird. So um, it felt like a pulled muscle, and you know, it, um, it just got worse. It kept hurting. And the best way I can explore it, describe, describe the pain was a knife being dug into your arm and twisted. That's that's the only way I can I can think of what that would be even feel like because a bone pain is some of the worst pain you can feel. Um, so went to the doctor. He took an X-ray of it, and the best way I can explain the X-ray is the outside of the shape of the bone looked normal, but the inside looked like it was muddled, like very mixy almost, like liquid. It was very strange. So. Um, that day we went to University of Tennessee, had an MRI done, and the next morning we were up towards Vanderbilt uh, talking to the general surgeon. And then the next day after that, we were um, talking to the oncologist at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. So radiation wouldn't have killed this type of cancer. It's, um, it doesn't affect apparently the bones that well. So chemo and limb salvage surgery was the only route that I had. Um, so I went through a couple rounds of chemo. I lost my hair. Um, been the skinniest in my life. Um, so I like to eat a little bit more now. Um, and you'll see some pictures of, uh, coming through of my arm. So this, about three or four months into chemo treatment, I have my surgery. And what they do is they basically top, took the top half of my humerus bone, which is right here and cut it out completely like it's it's gone and they gave me a cadaver bone which if you don't know what a cadaver bone is is a dead person's bone um so that is actually what i have in here now um and here's some pictures of what that looks like um and you can see it right here so went through all that surgery physical therapy about two weeks off of chemo and then after i, I kind of healed from the surgery i went back into chemotherapy and finished my chemotherapy regimen. Uh, this was in 2010. Um, I learned how to drive with one arm, so I still drive with one arm because of it. Uh, so, T-Rex Disc Golf comes from after the fact. After everything was said and done, um, I had to ca I carried my arm sort of like this around. Um, it just, from where I had had it in a sling for so long. And I think people were just, I have a bunch of sarcastic friends and um, you know the type who I'm talking about, sarcastic friends that kind of, they're, they're, fr they're your best friends, but they like to aggravate you a ton. And um, and I worked at the hospital too with that, uh, in my local town and people started calling me T-Rex because of how I carried my arm. And instead of getting really upset about it, I just took it. You know, and uh, I thought, hey, T-Rex is probably the best nickname or best thing people have called me before. <laughs> so, I'll, um, T-Rex will work. And so, uh, T-Rex became my nickname. Um, I just accepted it and went with it. And, you know, and um, now my arm doesn't stay at my side. Unless, unless I'm really tired, it does. Um, but T-Rex disc golf comes from where I have, I'm a cancer survivor. And... I just, yeah, I used to bend my arm at the time. And it did, it did, look, it does make me look like a T-Rex. Um, but I thought when I got into college at Tennessee Tech University, 
you know, I had stopped playing baseball. I was looking for something to fill my time at college because, you know, there's a bunch of downtime. Um, I didn't really have an Xbox or nothing there. So, and I'm a, I'm a competitive person. I like to play sports and stuff like that. So, I was trying to find something and Michael Hoffman, who was, honestly, I don't know how he's not sponsored yet. Um, he was like number two in the state in AMS. He was coming second, I think, that year in uh, the Tennessee State Championships in amateur division. I don't know what, I don't know what MA2 or MA3 or MA1, I don't, I'm not sure. But um, I know he came in second that year. Um, probably open, because he was that good. Um, and I know Tennessee Tech won the collegiate championships, I think, that year. Or um, about, about 2014, I think. And uh, he he got me involved in disc golf, you know. And uh, I, I was hooked, um, because I could throw sidearm, because I played base, second base in baseball. Um, backhand took me forever to learn. And when I learned backhand, I lost my forehand. But I, I would have liked to, uh, those guys up in Cookville, Tennessee, uh, Michael Hoffman, Danny Parkins, um, Alex, Garrett Payne, a bunch of those really good guys um, really helped me get into disc golf and really find a love for it. Um, that's where I started playing disc golf and uh, it, it gave me a sense of competition. Um, it kept me active, kept me moving instead of being a couch potato kid and watching TV all day. Um, I was actually to the point where I was almost skipping classes to go play disc golf. That's how much I loved it. Um, which was, I wouldn't recommend it, don't do that um, if you're going to college. But um, now, you know, my arm broke. Um, I don't have a picture of it, what it looks like right now. I don't know what it looks like. Um, heal uh, put back together, but I'm hopefully I'll get that soon. I'll post that on the Facebook page. But uh, yeah, uh, the reason I chose T-Rex is because I'm a cancer survivor. Um, I was not. I wasn't. If, you know, a lot of people ask me if I was scared to die, and um, no, I, I in my faith I know where I'm going if I die. So I was okay. I was actually pretty calm about it. Um, I even told them at one point, you know, hey, if you gotta chop the arm off, chop the arm off. I'll get one of those cool cyborg ones. Um, so, um, if you're if you're wondering what why well, I chose name T Rex Disc Golf, that was uh, that's it. So I'm just a guy trying to grow the sport, play the sport, trying to grow in the sport myself, um, be better at it constantly. Um, that's just who I am. Um, and if you guys ever want to talk about something, I'm always here. Um, message me on Facebook or anything like that. If you guys have a question, I'm always here. Um, so, guys, if you if you enjoyed the video, just like and subscribe and uh, share. Uh, share this as much as you can. I really I, I, I don't care if you tell my story or to other people or not. Um, I want to thank y'all for being here and watching the video. Thanks. Now you know the reason for T Rex disc golf.